how to build giant repositories of words and sentences in Anki so you can use them whenever you want. That's what we're covering today, so stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Hey, welcome to Jozu Jewels. On this channel, I aim to share tips and tricks while learning Japanese with the goal of documenting my progress and helping you save time. So if that sounds up your alley, then subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new uploads. Okay, so why do we want this giant repository of words and sentences? Well, let's say that you're feeling lazy one day and you don't want to go out looking for new Japanese words. Having a repository allows you to say, okay, I wanna learn some new words and you can just learn some new words. That is better than learning no new words, especially if you feel like you want to learn new words, but you don't want to put the effort into looking for them. Okay, step one for getting fast repositories, this is the cheese method, it's just look up pre-made Anki decks. So this is exactly like probably your first deck ever if you're studying Japanese, the Core 2K deck, right? The Core 2K deck is a repository of the Core 2K most used words or whatever. However, that's useful when you know nothing about Japanese because it builds a fundamental knowledge. Once you get to a point where you can already immerse in Japanese and you understand Japanese content, it's better to get a deck that is more relevant to you. So once you get to like Core, for me, right? When I got to Core 6K, it was like, okay, hang on a second these words are no longer relevant. So I stopped doing the Core 6K, and instead, if you've seen my checkpoint of my first year learning Japanese, I downloaded this really shitty deck called the VNLN Anime Manga V2K deck. It's a really crap deck, but it serves as my repository. For anyone who actually wants to use this deck, please don't. If you, if you want to use it, I'll link it in the description. What you're better off looking for is a deck that is relevant to you, has words, readings, and pronunciations, but also has sentences so you don't have to go out of your way to make new sentences. Decks like that might not exist, so you might have to settle for some shitty deck like this and then put in the effort to fix it to make it look good. Okay, so that's great if you're looking just to make a repository for when you're feeling lazy and want to learn a random word. But if you want to put a bit more effort into it, you can create a deck that's customized for you with words that are relevant to you 100%. And the way we're going to do that is creating a deck using anime, books, mangas, VNs, LNs, anything related to you that you enjoy that you are currently reading, doing, or watching. So first thing that comes to mind is anime. So I've already covered some of these tools in the top five tools that all Japanese learners need to know video up here. However, I'll go into a bit more details about how to use them in this video. So the first tool we wanna be using is the Japanese text analysis tool by CB4960. All you need for this to work is a subtitle file. And what this will do is analyze every single word in the subtitle file and generate you a frequency list. You can even batch import subtitle files. So I can click on directory here and subs. And like this, I've selected the entire folder of subtitles. We'll change the encoding down to UTF-16. Leave all these settings as default. Maybe change the output directory if you have a folder that you wanted to go to, and then you hit analyze. And what that's gonna do is it's going to generate you a frequency list like so. We're gonna take a look at word frequency report. Right here, this is every single word that has been used in the show. As you go down, you will see less and less frequent words. What you want to do is filter off all the stuff that you already know. I personally also cut off all the stuff that only appears once, because if it only appears once in the entire show, it's probably not memorable enough to memorize. You may disagree. If you want to put the effort into go sorting through all these words that only appear once in the show, there's a lot of words that only appear once. If you want to put that effort in, go ahead, I guess that could be useful because you're gonna get the sentence for it anyway, so you probably could remember it. However, I don't think it's worth it because probably, probably, some other show out there uses that word more than once. And if no show out there uses that word more than once, it's probably not that important anyway. So what I like to do to sort out these frequency lists, I put these into an Excel sheet and I match the Excel sheet to my card format. So the cards that I use look like this, right? Let me shrink this down a little bit. We have the expression field with the uh, kanji. We have the definition field. We have the reading field. We have the sound field and we have the image field. So over here, we match the same. We have expression. We have the definition. This stuff is just Google Translate. So if you're on uh, Google Sheets, you can do this. It's not reliable, but it's something. You can type in into this field, you can do equal, Google Translate bracket A colon A, as long as A is your is your expression field, comma, quote, J A end quote, comma, quote, E N dash U S if you want to use English US, end quote, end bracket. What that's going to do is take everything from the first row and then automatically Google Translate it into English. The next field we're going to do is reading audio and image. I don't know of any tools to automatically add this in yet, so I just usually write in reading audio image. After that, I have two NAs and then Aobuta. I'm not sure what these are because my card formats came from the original 
core 2k deck so i just leave these two as na's and then the last one is the tag down here so i want to tag this as albuta so i know where it came from once you have the entire excel sheet done you can go up to file and download this as a uh, csv with the csv you can now go to import file and import the csv that's going to generate a new deck for you and then you can do whatever you want with a new deck oh real quick i should probably share where i get these subtitles files from so kitsuneko is a good way to get japanese subtitle files Okay, so that's great for generating words, but what about sentences? For the sentences, you will need to have the video file. So in order to generate sentence cards, what we're going to need is a program called subs to SRS. Link is in the description. With subs to SRS open, you can import the entire subtitle file. Then on the video file section, you can import the entire folder with your video files. You have to give this deck a name. I'm just going to call this test just for the video example. We're going to hit preview. Uh, oh, I haven't set an output yet. So let's just, no, let's just get a test output, whatever. I'm just going to put it, put it into there, whatever preview. And you're going to get this window where you get to see every single line with the subs and the image. And you can also preview the audio to make sure it works here. You can also get rid of things that you don't want, right? So mm, for example, is not a card worth keeping. We can just deactivate this. A really common one that you're going to find is like the music note symbol. So uh, here, mm, ah, and a, eh, all these deactivate these. You need to spend time going through all of these to get rid of all the stuff that you don't want. Once you're done with this, you can hit go and you're going to get an Anki deck with sentences, pictures, and readings. Okay, but what about if you don't watch anime, but you instead read light novels, visual novels, and manga, right? How are we going to mine from those? First of all, Search up the Anki deck for them. Let's say that no such deck exists. Okay, this here is an extract from Seishin Futaro Volume 8. However, this is a PNG. I cannot copy the text off of this. So this will be the same if you're reading a manga online or if you're playing some light novel, you can't just copy the text. Well, if you've watched the top five tools video, then you already have a tool called Sherex, which will allow us to just OCR the text like so and then turn the text copyable. Now, I did tell you to download that tool, but I didn't tell you how to set it up. I'm gonna save that for another video because this video is dragging on quite a lot. And also that video is gonna be pretty search friendly. So it just helps my channel a little bit. Once that video is done, it's gonna be linked up here. If any of the details flew over your head, please rewatch the video. Thanks for watching and good luck on your studies. Cheers.